Here's the third video for Unit 2. This is on the Columbian Exchange. This was a term given by a scholar, Alfred Crosby, I think is believe, believe his name was, in about 1972. So when we talk about the Columbian Exchange, we're going to mention the Old World and the New World. It's important to know what continents make up which. So the Old World is the world that was already known about to these explorers, Africa, Asia, and, the, and Europe, and the New World were the Americas. And the Columbian Exchange is the exchange of things that never were to the New World that came from the Old World and that were never to the Old World that came from the New World. This was the transfer of plants, animals, and even diseases. Some people also include the transfer of people and cultures as part of the Columbian Exchange. So the important thing to know is that these things remained isolated to their half of the world until after the voyages of Columbus in 1492. Sometimes these things were brought on purpose, uh, like when they brought cows to the New World. Some things were accidental, uh, like squirrels. Um, something somewhat accidental was people from the Old World actually brought dandelions to the New World to spice their food. Well, dandelions have grown as weeds, as you know, um, and taken over many people's lawns. So that is somewhat of an accident. Hold on one second. Now here's a list of some of the things that came from the New World that they discovered back to the Old World. One thing includes tomatoes. You always think of tomatoes and Italian sauces and cooking, but Italy did not have tomatoes until Columbus. Same thing with Ireland and potatoes. Be, please, be quiet, please, guys. They're originally from the Americas, not from Ireland. Also things like sunflowers, tobacco, uh, sweet potatoes, turkeys, guinea pigs, avocados. Okay, Animals that came from the old world to the Americas. Yes. Hi. Colton said hi. Chicken, cows, donkeys, goats, squirrels. Squirrels are now uh, colonized in England very well. Raccoons in Germany, but they're from the New World. Things that came from the Old World to the New World. We often think of Ecuador and bananas, but they were introduced. Same thing with Florida oranges. They were new um, to the New World. Some things like uh, opium uh, and hemp came from the Old World, which aren't really foods, but cantaloupes, carrots, Almonds, apples, black pepper, broccoli, garlic, oats. I like, I like broccoli. You do. You love broccoli. Now here's a, a map that sort of shows you the direction and how things went. Like pineapples came from North, from the Americas back to the Old World. Um, all the grains that came. Also it mentions diseases. Oh yes. Which way did blueberries go? I think they're from the New World, colon. Now, your assignment is to list things you ate over the past week and label where they're from. Some things might be a combination, like a hamburger, which would only count as one thing, may have had a wheat bun from the old world and cattle from the old world and tomatoes from the new world. All right, let's see what you have. See you next class.